Okay, let's come to our comfortable standing position. Come to your comfortable standing position. With your soft knees, tailbone down, all at the same time to come to this Tai Chi standing. And shoulder rolls. And when you do shoulder rolls, not just your shoulders, the whole rib cage lift. Good. And as you send your shoulders to the back, your lungs expand, and yet your lower dantian is nice and heavy. Squeeze your shoulder blades toward your spine. Good. Now let's come to a pause. Relax your shoulders. And bring your hands to your lower than 10. Your weight is on your heels. And at the same time, have a sense of connection from your top of your head all the way to your heels. And as if somebody is pulling the top of your head toward the sky, you feel light on your heels, even though you're pushing into your heels with your weight. Close your eyes, if you will, and just for a brief moment, we'll stay tuned to or to our own breath, to our own body. Good. Let's release your hands. You can keep your eyes closed or maybe open. Interlace your fingers and start to squeeze and extend. Squeeze and extend. And let's change across. Squeeze and extend. Good. And let's open our palms. Relax your shoulders, hold energy ball. And take this energy ball to your shoulder height. And from here, we'll make circle holding the energy ball. Make circle. In a way, it's not quite uh, right in front of you. Like um, a circle, surface of the circle is in the front and above your head. And you are taking your energy ball, your hand above your head, and come down in front of your face. Your hand energy ball above your head come down in front of you. Good. So we don't have any weight on your energy ball. But by moving your arms, your energy ball like this, you're using the upper core muscle and as well on your lower dentian area to support the weight, support the movement. You can make circle a little bigger if you like. Good. 
Yep. And whenever you're ready, we'll bring your energy ball in the center and we'll reverse. You can start with your smaller circle, but you're starting your energy ball in front of your face and take it to above your head. So your elbows can be bent for sure, your energy ball above your head. Keep your Tai Chi standing. Good, one more circle. And bring your hands back into center. Relax your shoulders, hands come down, holding energy ball, take a breath. So you might feel gentle warmth in the center, very, very deep into your body, maybe around your shoulders. Good. And bring your hands to your hip, and we'll start to tap. Tap onto your hip, to the side of your legs, bend your knees, hands onto your knees and lift your chest. And we'll try to keep it this way. So sometimes the bending knees deep in this position might be hard, but we'll try. Come down as much as you like, top of your feet, onto your shins, onto your thighs, and come back up onto your buttocks. Back of your legs, hands onto your knees and lift your chest. Engage your lower belly onto your calf. Your weight is on your heels, open knees inside of your legs. Deep into your thighs and come up. Come up to tap onto your groin. The squat, coming into deep squat, means that your knees need to be able to bend. Your upper body and your lower body need to be able to bend. And your ankles, sometimes your ankles are a little tight. They all need to be able to bend and also support with your uh, upper body muscle, your thighs, and your, I guess, balance with your flexibility, all required. Start to tap onto your hip and onto your back. And tap onto your bum. So toning and moving the energy within your body. And by tapping, you might feel, oh, this part needs some more uh, gentle tap, gentle massage. Some parts you don't need to feel or emphasize on tapping. Okay, let's open your palms and reach as far down as you like onto the tip of your bum. And come up to the side. And come back to center, slide your hand just above your waist and start to tap onto kidneys, relax your shoulders. And let's go up, inhale. Exhale, come down. Inhale, go up a tiny bit higher. Exhale, come down. Last one to lift. Exhale, come down. Well done, release and shake your arms. Take a couple of breaths here. Good. Now, 
Open your arms all the way to the side. Soften your knees. Tai Chi standing. Good. So your palms facing forward. And we'll start to turn your palms so that it goes uh, upward. It faces up or maybe a little bit further. <laughs> Excuse me. And release to face your palm forward. Twist. And your palm facing upward, maybe a little further to the back. And release. Okay, so you have the sensation maybe toward the back, but inside of your shoulder. And be mindful to turn, but uh, it's good to feel the work that you are doing within your shoulders. Okay, turn. Release. Turn. Turn. Well done. And release. Bring your hands down. Shake your arm. Good. And we'll place your hand onto your buttocks. Fingers facing down. Good. So this might be um, already a good stretch on your chest and shoulder. If there is any space, come into your Tai Chi standing or keep it that way. And inhale to lift your chest and rib cage. Exhale, release. So if there's any space with your inhale to the rib cage and lifting, if there's any more space, Maybe you can close your elbows as you inhale. Close and bring your elbows in and release. So I'm talking about your elbows, but really it's your shoulder blades coming closer to your spine. Good. So you can start to feel the the um use be able to use your bum as your cushion and pushing against your bum and even the downward pressure. Downward pressure. Good. Now, well done. Let's really shake your arm, shake your wrists. Take a breath here. And let's incorporate some Qigong movement and also a little um, similar to the Qigong movement that we're going to practice and uh, incorporate some Japanese kinesthetic movement afterwards. So have your feet comfortably open and feel grounded. Knees can be soft. And hands to your hip or maybe crease of your thigh where the thigh and torso separate. Good. And we'll start from here. Look towards your right knee. And bend deep. Good. Lots of weight on your right heel. And slide to your left side. Push into your left heel. Come up. Uh, so this is a deep bend. And you can bend your knees if you're, if that's comfortable. Turn your torso to your right leg and come deep. And instead of looking down towards your toes, you want to look maybe a foot or two feet away from your toes and slide. Push into your heel and come up. One more. Look towards your left, right leg, come down, slide. Push into your heel. And come up. Good. So it's good to be able to bend from the base of your hip. 
without rounding your back. Okay, so keep your knees soft so that you don't have too much, um, too intense uh, stretch in the back leg and still be able to bend with your nice long spine. Good, from here, we'll use the same um, principle coming down with you from your hip and keeping your uh, spine nice and long. But we're gonna use our arms to lift your arms up. And from here, come down over to your left leg, uh, right leg. Good, and slide to the other side. Pushing into your heel and come up. Arms making circle. Two more like this. Over to your right leg, shift to your left leg, push into your left heel and come up. Good. And let's do one more. Nice smooth movement to come up. And release your hand. Take a breath here. And look towards your left hand to the hip or maybe crease of your hip. Inhale here. Soften your knees. And exhale, spine nice and long. Come over your left leg. Shift out to the right side. Push into your heel and come up. Uh, so it's your upper body working and practicing the deep bend from your hip. Good. And if your hand, your index finger is in the right place, you sometimes may feel the hip bone against your index finger. Good. I forget, this is the second or third one. Maybe extra one cycle. And come back up. Arms up to the sky. And we'll do the same. So you can bend your knees, as I say. Come down over your left leg. Shift to your right side. Push into your right heel and come back up. So because your arms are away from your torso, you have more support. Uh, you need more support from your spine or muscle around your spine. And your core. Good. And last one. Change from your hip. And come up. Well done, arms down and take a breath or two. Good. So we're working on the movement of your upper body. You might feel some sensation from your rib cage or maybe behind the, the back side of a rib cage and maybe from your lower than 10. Good. Uh, that's all we are working on, small muscles, big muscles around your rib cage, inside of your core, inside of your body. All right, let's close your left foot in. And open our chi, the energy gate. Land from your toes and softly land. Ground into the floor, into the earth. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Two, three more. Soft movement. Your weight is on your heels. Last one. Uh, 
And let's hold energy ball. Hold energy ball, hands. Relax your shoulders. So today we will combine a few movements from the start and toward maybe past halfway. Uh, combine a few movements here. All right, starting with the energy ball over to your left side. Right arm goes semicircle. Open your torso to your right side. This is the fourth movement. Bend your elbow, your palm facing down. Shift your weight, press your hand down. And let's step out to your left. Once down, your whole body turns to face the front knee. Push your top hand forward. Soften. Shift yourself back, pushing from your front heel. And lots of weight on your back foot. Pull your foot in. Shift your weight. Front hand push. And step out. Whole body turns. Happy knee, happy hip. Hip facing toward the same side, same direction. Release your wrist. Push from your front heel. Push from your front heel. You're shifting your weight. And pull your foot in. Press your hand down. And step out. Soften your wrist. Back knee softens. Lift. Pull. Push. Step out. And press out. Lower heel. Lower hand against around your hip. Release, shift back, and step back. We'll do one more cycle. Press down, heels out, and press across. So your whole body starts to turn. And just pause here. We were flowing, and we'll just check where we are. Your front hand is in front of your uh, shoulder. You're not, you're not crossed into the center or keeping your hand in front of your shoulder and your lower hand outside of your hip. Good. And your hip and knee in the same line. Good. And push from your front heel, come back in. Oh, right arm, both outer arm. Both up, push your front hand down, and last step. Lower hand goes around your hip, open the torso to face the same direction as your lower knee. And look down again. Just look that they're all nice in a nice place. Soften back knee, push from your front heel, and come back in. Good. And holding energy ball like this, pull your right elbow in, palm out to the side, three pulse monkey, lift elbow, lift hand over your shoulder and press forward. Keep your knees soft here, elbow in and out to the side, lift elbow, lift hand, hand over your shoulder, front palm flips and push forward. Good. And we'll repeat a few times. Open hand, lift your hand, elbow, front palm flips, and push forward. Elbow in, swing your hand, lift, and flip your front palm, press forward. Good. And the option is always available. Move your hip with your elbow. You can open your arm nice and wide if you like. Front palm flip, and as you bring your hand over your shoulder and push, you can bring your hip back to the center. And then your hip doesn't have to go like this. You can just use your arm and shoulder. Good. 
open and lift your elbow, lift hand, front palm flip, press forward. Last one. Swing your hand, lift, and press forward. Well done, hold the energy ball. Hold the energy ball from here, make a whip to the side, at right side. Keep your knees soft. Heel lift off the floor or you can just slide out to the side. Open both arms. Land your foot and move into center. Uh, keep your body lifted. Shift back slightly, lift your front palm, uh, sorry, front he uh, toes and come back to center. Uh, shift weight, make a whip, and you can stay here or bring your heel in and out. Keep your toes lifted, open yourself out, land your foot, and move into center. Good. So here, as we may have been mentioned before, your toes are out and knee wants to face the same side, the same direction as your toes. You may have your toes turned out more than your knee. It really depends on how your um, inner thigh and your hip is, how, how much it's open. And sometimes they don't align. And also they are not in the same, facing the same direction. So you keep yourself upright when we are doing this so that your knees don't have too much pressure from your weight. Shift back, toes lift, bring yourself back in. Let's do one more set. Make a whip, shift, maybe heel in and out or slide your heel out. Soften, open, land your toes and come into the center. Lift and bring your hand into center. Shift weight, heel in or slide your heel out to the side, open, open your arm, your toes, land your foot and keep yourself upright, arms push out. Good, so we're in this position, you're not in an intense opening position, but you may feel deep in your sit bone area, deep in your groin, you feel some opening, he, uh, toes lift, bring yourself back in. Good. And relax your breath and red legs, take a breath or two. All right, from here, lift, uh, shift your weight onto your right, sorry, left foot. Pull your right foot in the back. Your hand to your cheek will come into needle into the ocean. Your hand to your cheek, front hand face down and point your needle down in the ocean. Good. Keep looking ahead. Lift and guard your right side, hand to your shoulder and press your hand forward. Step in. And step back with your left foot. And to your cheek, shift your weight all the way to the back. And needle into the ocean. Come up. And to your shoulder. And press your hand forward. Step in. And we'll do one more set. Right foot steps back and shift your weight. And to your cheek. And needle into the ocean. Keep looking ahead. Come up and keep your back leg heavy. And to your shoulder. And we have been shifting forward, but we may have practiced putting your front foot in. And if that's something you like to do, do that. And as you land your heel, Move into center. And if you don't pull your heel in, 
just shift yourself into center. Step in and step back with your left foot. Shift your weight all the way. Front hand face down, hand to your cheek and needle into the ocean. Keep your back leg strong. Come up with your left hand and hand to your shoulder. Maybe pull your foot in, maybe not. And push your hand forward. Step in and take a breath. Good. So these are the today's sequence. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so I'm going to flip myself and we'll start from the beginning. See if I remember everything. Make an a energy ball to your left side. And your hand comes down. Uh, this is the most extended um, arm out to the side in the entire 24 form. Shift your weight, front hand push down and step forward step out to the side press and turn your torso look down to see the alignment look towards your arm and soften your wrist push from your heel and come back pull your foot in press your front hand down shift weight and press across Soften, push from your front heel, your hip facing forward, pull your foot in, push down. And if you have any extra energy, keep your knees soft at whole time so that your height, the height of your hip doesn't change. Release your wrist, push from your hip and front heel and come up one last time. Push your front hand down and shift, step out. Soften your wrist, shift back, push from your front heel. Come back, hands into small energy ball, right elbow comes in. Swing your hand out, lift elbow, lift hand, and press your hand forward. Left elbow comes in and swings out. Lift elbow, lift hand, front palm flips, and press forward. And again, you can use any extra opening, maybe your hip, maybe just your arms. Open, maybe follow your hand and push forward last cycle. Good. Again, you are keeping your knees soft. And once you push your left hand, hold the energy ball, make a whip to your right side, shift your weight. And open, heel down, open your arm and toes. And push your hand forward. Good, push into both heels and you feel the connection with your sit bones. Shift back, pull your toes in or start cycle back. Hold energy ball, shift your weight, make whip. You can stay there or you can make, lift your heel and out. Open and shift into center. Shift back, toes come back in. One more set. Shift and if you're staying, simply lift your toes. Swing and push. Bring in. Make whip to the side. Again, if you are staying, simply lift your toes. If you're lifting your heel, that's totally great. Lift your toes, come back to center. Here, if you like to close your feet first, that's great. 
close your feet and if it's okay with you shift your weight so that you can step your right foot to the back needle into the ocean shift weight and keep looking ahead instead of looking down towards your hand lift yourself up and to your shoulder maybe pull your foot in maybe not and moving to center step in keep your knees soft if there is space step back with your left foot and to your cheek and down needle into the ocean come up and to your shoulder maybe pull your heel in maybe not and move into center step in and take a breath or two good so these combinations haven't happened maybe before have a sip of water Good, and it's nice because we're always coming back to center in this in my class. So you can pretty much everything can happen from this center. Just need to open the feet maybe slightly or close. And it's very convenient. And uh, in a way, uh, there are two ways of really learning anything. Um, learn the basic and deepen the practice by really learning philosophy, uh, the alignment, how proper you can do and strengthen so that you can uh, mimic the gurus eventually. And the other one is to keep your movement going, which I'm more into doing is to um, learn the basics and apply in a different, um, different sequence uh, maybe try different way of engaging one foot or the other foot or heels. Um, soften your knees deeper. Um, it's really enjoyable to um, do this class with you all. Okay, so next cycle, I'll be a little quiet and we can all flow into these four forms. Hold energy ball, tailbone down, soften knees. Move it to your left and we'll start. Right arm semicircle. Shift weight, front hand push down. Step out. Uh, just a quick look at your hand and knee. Soften your wrist, push from your heel. Pull your foot in. Turn your torso. Push from your front heel, hip facing forward. One more cycle. <clears throat> Soften. And last step. Turn your torso, lower hand around your hip. And release. Come back to center. Little energy ball and pull your elbow in. Swing your arm and press forward. Three pulse monkey. And here the movement is mainly upper body and maybe hip, maybe not, but keep your knees soft. Feel free to move your arm nice and wide. One last cycle.
Good. All the energy ball here. Make a whip to your left. Shift weight. Heel out. Swing your toes and arm. Move into center, pressing your palm out. And notice that you're not hyperextending your arm. You're pushing your palm. Shift and toes lift. Back to center. Shift. Swing your toes and arm. Move into center. Let's do one more cycle. Energy ball to a whip. Over to the other side. Lift and back to center. Close your feet or just shift your weight. The right foot steps back, needle into the ocean. Keep looking ahead and come up. Keep your weight on your back foot if you can. Move your foot in and out. Stay in the center. Step in. Left foot steps back. Needle into the ocean. Step in. Well done. Both arms open. Nice and wide. Inhale. Exhale. Sink deep if you could. Inhale, scoop energy. Exhale, lower. Last one to inhale, wide. Sink deep, exhale. Inhale, lift. Arms face down and push. Release your hands to the side. Close your left foot in. Take a breath. Well done. So let's open your feet and we'll start to slide your hand from your hairline up to the top of your head. So today we combine different elements from uh, different forms so that we work on different part of the body and different uh, movement, not just stepping out to the side, uh, back and forth, but we have combined different movement one stepping out to the side stationary one and you're stepping out right to the side and we're stepping back so you might feel good um, energy circulating from all over your body so not just your sides are tired or buttocks tired but entire body soft massage Good. Now let's release. Shake your hand. Take a breath or two. Good. Now have your hands uh, onto your chest or towards your shoulders. Keep your knees soft and tailbone down. Good. And look towards your side. And look down. And if you're lucky, you might be able to look at your heel. Come back and look forward. 
So pull your navel in and tailbone down so that your spine is nice and long. Look toward the other side and look down. Come up, back to center. And it's sort of easier or uh, more, you feel more support if you hold your lower than pin really strong height. Let's do one more. Look on to one side. Look down. Feel the stretch on the opposite hip. Look up and come back to center over to the other side. And look down. Good. Feeling the stretch. And at the same time, you feel really in the center of your belly. Deep inside is strong. Come back to center. Let's switch your arm. Lower hand comes up. And on, sit on top. Look towards one side. Look down. Come back to center. Over to the other side. Look down, feel the stretch and the strength from the core. Back to center. Well down, let's release. Let's release and again, hug your shoulders and bring your shoulders in. Round your back and bend your knees, elbow down. Feel the good stretch into your low back. And bend in, hip down, your gaze forward, come back up. Once more, lower hand comes out and sits on top. Bring your shoulders in, start to round your back, look down. Push into your heel, deepen your bend, look ahead, push into your heel, come back up. And release your hands. Palms shine forward, inhale. Exhale, come down with your hand. Once more, inhale. Arms face down, exhale. Hands to your lower than ten. And open your feet if you like. And we'll come into a big inhale, deep exhale with your throat making that sh uh, noise, like sh noise, if you can hear. Okay, let's take a big inhale. And exhale from your mouth. Empty your belly, empty your lungs, and back to your normal breath. Good. So I really like to strengthen your uh, respiratory system. And one, one way to do is to use the diaphragm. So this one with your exhale and you're straining your throat. Um, probably you got the gist, but if you are like, um, if you are wiping a glass surface like window or something and there's something on the window that's not coming off you go and then wipe so that you know create the heat within your body within your throat and then push out the air and then wipe the glass surface and that's kind of the way you want to straining your throat and your voice, your vocal cord, and your diaphragm gets uh, strengthened. And the vocal cord, your diaphragm, and the pelvic floor, they are all connected. You don't really feel them, especially your diaphragm and the pelvic floor. You don't feel them, but as you engage your throat, the engagement goes down all the way to the pelvis. And it all just contracts everything. Uh, so we can't feel it, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening. And we just kind of uh, know that it is happening and that's the start. Okay, so let's open your feet and we'll come into energy shout out. You can unmute if you like. And down for a couple of
come up with your open knee, open toes, and stand for your hand in and push. One, two, three. Inhale. Yes, two more like this. One, two, three. Inhale. Yes, last one. Strong heart. One, two, three. Inhale. Well done. Thank you, you go. Thank you.